And guys, we're we're going to uh, forge the blade. So let's get everything set up, and we're going to try to make this. Try to duplicate this. But on the other one, I'm going to make this the bottle opener. I don't know if I can do it on this one yet or not, because the way it's curved right in here, it's kind of got a divot right there. But we're going to try to. Anyways, let's put this in the fire. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to straighten this piece out. And then we'll take from here and uh, forge out the blade. Somewhere around in there. Forge out the blade and then get our shape to where we need it. This shape here. So come along with us.
right guys, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bend that, uh, bend uh, the blade into shape, and then uh, we'll put it back in the boards and get it all straight. Take it out of the forge. Uh, show you the shape of it. Extremely hot right now. But, uh, we're going to put it in the vise and let it cool down. It's pretty straight. Almost like the other one. Alright, we'll get back with you in a minute. We got it pretty close to the other one it's almost close this one is just a little tad bit longer but at time we by the time we uh, square that off on the end it should be about the same size we got a lot of grinding to do and this is the beast that we're going to be grinding it on you can see it right here The Grizzly. This was uh, this was gifted to me by a great friend of mine, a true friend. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna use this to grind down the blade. This is what we grind most of our blades on. I found this just laying around in here. Made a knife and didn't even know it. <laughs> Anyways, guys. We're going to grind this, and we'll get back with you when we get it ground up. You don't want to see all this grinding. It's just boring. All right, guys. We got some grinding done on it. I realize this thing is crooked big time. So we're going to have to put it back in the forward, straighten it out. I want to do that before I, get, before I start any more grinding on it. Now, the, the other one... This one, the blade is a little bit wider. This one's not as wide. Uh, don't know exactly. Hold on a second. Okay, we're looking about an inch and a quarter on that on the one we just did. I don't know. It's about the same. Uh, maybe a little less. This one's an inch and an eighth. I'm sorry. The other one is an inch and a quarter. So let's put it back in the forge. Get it straight. See how crooked it is? Let's get it straight and then we can do some more grinding on it. Alright guys, we got it straight. It's in the vise cooling off. Once I get everything ground down and get it ready to quench, I will get back to you. Thanks guys. Right, this is where we're at. With the blade done some some grinding on it i'm gonna leave this one rough like this i like that so all i did was took a steel brush to it uh as ak solomon uh uh he gave the knife a name and i, I appreciate it man I, I i had no clue what to call this knife so this is the boxed in blade box in blade uh, from the from the, the blunt point of it. Cool. So all we got to do now is, uh, of course, we need to put an edge on it. This thing has to be heat treated and tempered. None of that's been done yet. But uh, I, I do want to try to get an edge on it, uh, somewhat of an edge on there before I do that. Not that it's going to be hard to grind off, but... Uh, always try to get to the point of where the edge is still blunt but take some of the metal off of there so we're going to do that and then we'll come back to you and then we'll heat treat and temper it and we'll call it a blade a boxed in blade all right guys i uh ground off a little bit more than what i wanted to but it cleaned up pretty decent I wanted to leave it kind of rough, but uh, got happy on the grinder, I guess. All right, we're to the point now where we can uh, we can heat treat this and temper it. It still doesn't have an edge on it. I, I 
try not to put the edge on until after I've heat treated and temp tempered. I get it to the point where it almost needs an edge and then stop there. So we're going to heat treat uh, and then temper. Hang with us. Now for me guys, I use canola oil. But I ran out of canola oil. So I mixed it with some motor oil. Some clean motor oil. Fresh motor oil. And it's going to smoke a little bit. That's the only reason I don't use motor oil. Because it smokes pretty bad. And I've I've had pretty good, uh, pretty good results from the canola oil. All your preference. This is just my preference. So that's what I do. You don't you don't have to do it, but we got the uh, forge. We got the blade in the forge. We're gonna fire the forge up. I always heat my oil up too, previous to quenching. So hang with us. But guys, what do I what I do is I get to the point where a magnet will not stick to the metal, and then that's when we quench. Get to the point where magnet not stick and a little bit more heat and then quench. That's what we're going to do. Hang with us and we'll get this thing quenched. That's good. All right, guys, we got it uh, heat treated. No warps, which is good. Let's check to see how hard it got. That's what I want to hear. See how it grabs up here? Not down here. So we're in good shape. So we'll get this thing cleaned up and we'll get back to you. you guys, and this is why I don't care too much for motor oil dirty even the clean oil is dirty uh, but what we're going to do now is we're going to clean this up and put a temper on it see it's pretty uh, it's pretty hard see how it grabs right there Gates off. All right, let's clean it up, temper it. All right, guys. I know this video is terribly long. 
this is what it looks like once you get it heat treated. To see, to see the gold, like the straw color, that's what you're looking for. Got a little purple right here, but that's all right. It's on the spine. It's not on the edge. So there's where we're at. Now, from here, all we got to do is clean it up and put an edge on it. And you guys get the gist of, a, of the forge. i tell you what we'll do. We'll show this. We'll come back with this one on Fatwood Friday. And we'll throw it out there and see how sharp it is compared to the other one. So we're going to stop this video here. I appreciate you guys coming along. Uh, I, just, I know this video is extremely long for my, I don't know. It's just long. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed the build. It's almost exactly like the other one. Here's the other one. And here's this one. Pretty close. Alright guys. Take care. Be safe. I'll catch you on the next one.